Hello, lovelies. It is our magical kit time. Welcome to the beautiful creativity kit. This one has been really fun. So one of the coolest things that comes with the emotion empowerment boxes is the video Ta -da, where you get to know everything in your kit, what it is and what you do with it. Uh, so this portion is going to be mostly showing you what the items are, um, how you can use them and start to incorporate them. And then later we'll have the videos for the meditation, the videos for the crystal grading and the coaching that all go with this beautiful juicy package. But this video is intended to explain kind of what's in it and the intention and all behind what we chose to put in it. I have to say, this kit comes with a warning. <laughs> you will probably feel more creative than you felt in a long time. And so a little bit of warning, make sure you have space to create. <laughs> and if you're feeling overwhelmed, make sure you create some voids, um, say no to a few things so that you can say yes to the new things that are flowing in. And I, I say that because as wonderful Rick and I were talking about this kit, and sending all the packages out, he's like, we should really send a warning because it has been insane. The amount of new ideas and thoughts that have been flowing through, not just myself, but also for him, as we focused on this creativity essence and we've channeled in how to magnify that and amplify it. And the items in this kit, I literally took and did myself before we finished the kit because I wanted to make sure that everything I put into it actually works and actually helps enhancing these pieces. They're not just, oh, here's an idea and here's a crystal and a thing that could work for you. It's like, no, this actually amplified my clarity and my awareness in this project very specifically. And it's been really fun. Uh, and so I'm really excited to have this out and have this available for you because I feel like every five seconds I'm getting a new idea and things are just expanding more and more and more. And uh, I'm almost ready to go, okay, I'm done being creative. Now I need to go have some stability and implement it. And so luckily we have that coming next month. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to share this. So I'm just going to do a run through of everything in it. And again, the meditations and the coaching and the deeper intense videos are going to be in other video clips. This one is just to show you what's in it as we unpack it. So the biggest thing when you open it, well, this is my favorite in every kit, is the beautiful art. So this is my personal art. And it started out just going to be like a basic grid. And we were like, let's just put a basic crystal grid in it. And this is like, okay, this one, we're going to do a spiral. <laughs> it's a spiral and a turtle. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the spiral first. And then I will go into more detail about what to do with the grid. So, um, but that's in another video. Um, but I wanted to make sure I shared some of the information in this one so you can get started you can start thinking about what you're wanting to create so with the spiral that is not an accident and you'll notice throughout your whole kit the spiral exists it exists on the journal and the ammonite and like everything is a spiral and even like the drums i created while <laughs> making this kit i'll have like secret little spirals that i wasn't even aware i was painting so it's been really fun to do this so the spiral is very symbolic. You'll see it's on this side too. And so the spiral is very symbolic because it's all about understanding it can go inward and it can also go outward. So it, it's a duality symbol. So paying attention to on one side, there's a lot of meanings. And so I'm going to give a few of them, let your brain start thinking. But when we get into the video with the meditation and the crystal gridding, it will make more sense. But understanding with your spiral, is your spiral going within and it's tightening, 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 tightening and holding and restricting? Or is it going out and expanding? And really what we want is the out and expanding. But then we also have to honor that sometimes we need to go within and spiral down in order to see what's in there and what needs to get out so that we can expand. So it's about that duality. And so making sure you honor that as you go through these next videos. Um, it's also kind of like that calm in the middle, the eye of the storm. So there's also that element to embrace. And then uh, anciently, spirals have represented this beautiful, harmonious transformation. It's all about increasing steadily, slowly tuning into that automatic DNA. If you look at a DNA strand, it's a spiral going down. And so the spiral is one of the most ancient and one of the most uh, abundant symbols that we can find in ancient wisdom. Um, they're also symbolic to shamanism, the mystical universal paths, the the wonderful whirling galaxies that a shaman takes as they take people on journeys is actually the path of a spiral. 
um, also represented with the snake. So it's interesting because originally this was not supposed to be a turtle at all. <laughs> and it was last minute. And I even told Rick, I was like, are you okay if I, apparently, or I said, apparently I was told the grid's going to be a turtle. Like I had other things planned and, and, and from the beginning I had them planned and he, I mistyped and he thought, and it said title and he thought I meant to say spiral. So just so you know, the grid's going to be a spiral. He's like, great. And then later he's like, oh, a turtle. I was like, yeah, I told you. <laughs> so it was interesting because it was just meant to be that way. So we'll talk a little bit about the turtle. So, uh, the turtle is all about understanding that sometimes in order to have that creative energy flowing, if we have chaos going on and if we have busyness going on, we're not very creative. And usually that's when we need that creativity the most is when there's too many things going on and we're too overwhelmed that we need to be creative in a solution and thinking outside the box. And so the turtle represents allowing ourselves to slow down slow the pace for a minute, setting aside time to be creative. Um, the turtle is also representing being self-reliant, to be creative, to be fertile, not just physically with babies, but also fertile with ideas. What have you been wanting to give birth to, but it hasn't finished its gestation because you haven't taken the time and the care needed. And so making sure that you are nurturing those parts of yourself so that you can expand and so that you can allow those ideas to flow. Um, it also ties in with the old soul within us, understanding there's that deep connection of who we are um, as ancient spiritual beings and also who we are in our family DNA and our ancestry and understanding that with that slower pace and that increased compassion, we're able to tune into the wisdoms of the ancestors. All the wisdom we need is already within us if we reach in and tap into it. And sometimes that wisdom comes divinely. Sometimes it comes from soul remembering. Sometimes it comes from hearing something randomly over the radio and, oh, that sparks a thought. And then you can move on with that creative thought pattern. And sometimes it's knowing that there's books out there and resources out there. And so tuning into that is going to help create some of that flow of ideas and thoughts and structures to get that stability, to get back in the flow of things. We have the abundance kit to bring things in, but sometimes we need to get creative in how to bring things in once we clear those blocks. So that's why we love the turtle. So again, this is the grid that you're going to be able to use with your crystals. Um, if you wanted to do a jump start, you are going to put the crystals on the spiral itself. Um, and you can also utilize your candle as well, which we'll talk about next. So the candle, I really love. Um, and so, and it's wrapped in plastic and some of them, if they're a little bit sticky, it's okay. <laughs> because uh, some of them in shipping, they got a little warm. Um, so hopefully yours made it. If it didn't, please let me know. We're happy to replace those. So the candle, you'll notice it has, well, I don't need to show you, you have your own. I'm like, oh, look, isn't that cool? But you have one. Um, the candle has clear quartz in it, which offers clarity, um, clear thinking, understanding. It also has jasmine, which helps soothe the heart. It helps to create that sense of ease and relaxation and also allowing the flow of sweetness into our lives. It's a beautiful herb. It's one of my favorites. And then we have sage and that helps to cleanse and clear. Uh, it also helps to protect. And sometimes we have to protect our creativity. We have to protect our minds. Um, if you've ever struggled with creative insecurity, uh, creative insecurity is when you make something and then you hold back sharing it because you're afraid of what people will think or do because in the past you created something you thought was amazing and somebody shot it down um, and a lot of times those things get shot down when they're still an idea and if we just allow ourselves to stay in our safe bubble for just a moment and put a little bit of intuitive focused and, and honest effort and clarity into it, we can figure out the kinks so we can bring it to the surface. So that's why sage is very important. Now you're going to have a craft with this one. And so you'll notice you got a little thing of a clear white liquid. This is Mod Podge. And so don't open it up yet. <laughs> it can be messy. And then you have your sponge. So you're actually going to do a craft with these three items. So this candle is not going to remain white. Um, if you wanted to, you are more than welcome to, but I encourage you to check out the video because sometimes we just need to allow ourselves to make something, to create something. It's like getting that engine going, getting it warmed up. And so Rick and I, when we tuned in, it was like, yep, this is what we need to do. We need to do something to cause instant creation, but something that's also simple and not so time consuming that it takes us away from our deeper intentions. So there's a video on that, but that's what this item's for. Um, don't forget you have the full card and the meditation on the back. 
So make sure you get to enjoy that beautiful meditation from Rick. Um, he will tell you all the details about the tarot card. One of the other things that I love in the kit is our tea. Like, oh, I mean, we'll probably have a tea in every one because it's really hard not to at this point because we love them so much. So these teas come from your apothecary. Her name's Carrie. It's really fun. And she custom makes these teas. She does sound therapy in them. She sends us videos of the gong and it's just like, oh. And so these are more than just, here's some plants in a bag. It's infused it with love and light and blessings. It's like a sacred tea. So, um, and then this is your tea bag and it's reusable. So you just rinse it out and then you can put it in. Um, you only need, like it says to do uh, like one cup of water for one tablespoon. I don't even need it that strong. So it lasts me a lot longer. Um, but then it's got all of the herbs in it that help us to calm ourselves and to relax that belly. <laughs> because that's our creative core. That's our creation chakra. So when we have stomach struggles, it's gonna hinder our ability to be creative because we, it causes that restricting. Remember the spiral going in. And so allowing yourself when you are wanting to get in that creative flow and even just think about creative ideas or write about creative ideas, then this tea is gonna be amazing for that. So please make sure you enjoy all of that. Speaking of being creative and writing, this is like one of our favorite items in here. And I recently was in Sedona and they had these and they were very expensive. And so I'm really glad that we were able to figure out how to get them in our kits. Um, you'll notice that there's the spirals on the front and the tree of life. There's also the tree on the back. And the reason for the journal is to allow a safe space for your brain to put all of those thoughts. Plus it's so juicy and delicious and like energetically it just feels really good. I don't know about you, but as a, I'm a writer, so as a writer, or an, I'm also an artist, I'm just going to do everything. Um, but when I'm going through and I'm writing and creating and drawing and being creative, it just feels better. And I feel uh, almost more in tune with something ancient and simpler within me when I get to do it on something that's beautiful and it feels good to the touch. Like this is like the real deal. And so it is real leather and the paper is this beautiful parchment paper. So if you aren't a person who wants to write words, you can doodle, you can put thoughts, you can save flowers. Like there's so much you can do here. So this gets to be your creation book. This is where you prove to yourself that you do get great thoughts and you get great ideas. And a lot of times we don't realize that these great thoughts and ideas we get are almost like uh, fleeting as soon as they come. So I once read a book and I think it was by, it's either by Rachel Hollis or Elizabeth Gilbert. And, and I don't remember which one. So um, it's, it's on being creative. And in that book, she talks about sometimes inspiration comes like a tiger and it wanders by. And if you don't grab it by that tail and ride that tiger and ride that last train of thought, it's gonna go. And who knows if it will come back. And so having something that you get to have handy around or in a special spot where you take at least, you know, 10 minutes and put something in it every day, just for 30 days, you can do anything for a short amount of time. And these kits are meant to be 30 day kits because we don't want you to have a whole bunch of stuff lying around. So if you do have stuff, we want you to be using it, but we want it to be a focused plan. So grab your tea and put something creative in here and reminding yourself that you're expanding out and you're growing and you're helping everyone around you to grow by whatever you create, even if it's just something funny, even if it's something crude, like allowing other people to have an experience creates growth. Even if everybody doesn't like what you create, it's okay because they have something to talk to their friends about, about how much they hated whatever you created. And yet now their lives edified because they have a bond with their friend who mutually thinks that it was awful. And so usually when I say, you know what, if somebody doesn't like what I have, and what I give, you're welcome because I either entertained you or because you thought it was hilarious and you laughed at it and thought it was stupid, or I gave you a reason to bond to somebody else. So if I didn't give you a happy experience through what I created, at least you got an experience that made you feel better in some form. So you're welcome. And um, even if it's just to feel better about yourself because you're not as silly or dumb as I am in your eyes, right? <laughs> so allowing yourself to create for the joy of creating. Um, and in our video that we have coming up, you'll be able to look at that, some of that creative insecurity stuff. So we will talk about that again. But there's your beautiful journal. That was just, yeah, Rick and I were just like, oh, this, yes. And um, you also have your beautiful affirmation card. And this one is a card that's designed by beautiful Cindy Brown. 
and divine inspiration surrounds me. This allows me to be a powerful co-creator with the universe who delivers an abundant flow of creativity each day. So you can put this in your wallet. Each kit has a little card that goes in your wallet. Um, you can even put it inside your book if you want. So you can say it to yourself a few times to get those creative juices flowing. So that is your beautiful affirmation card. And then when we talk about allowing space for ourselves to be creative. Sometimes we can set aside the time, but then we don't set aside the brain. <laughs> the brain doesn't want to do it or the emotions don't want to do it. So that's where the creativity spray comes in. Um, this is a salt based spray, so don't spray it in your face <laughs> and you'll want to shake it really good. Um, with this spray, oh, hold on, be creative for a second. Mm. It's so cool because these were actually charged underneath the moon. So they have that fullness of energy behind them. So the full moon is always about things coming to a completion, things surging forward, having that wholeness. So you have all of that beautiful surging energy into these. They've also been treated with beautiful sound therapy. If you haven't seen it on my social media or on Rick's social media, then make sure you see that because he played the gong and you can actually hear the actual sound vibrations that were infused into your beautiful sprays. And so all the lids were off and then the water would vibrate with the gong and oh, it's just so beautiful. So also in it are the essential oils. And the essential oils are essential and that's because they each have their own purpose. So, and they're again, very intuitively, divinely, like we get told what, by the guides what we're putting in this. So the first one is basil. So basil is powerful because it acts as a cleanser and a protectant. Then you have the beautiful uh, lemongrass, which acts as an energy protectant <laughs> and clears out other people's influence. So other people's emotions, other people's energy, other people's thoughts and ideas. How many times have you went to create something and somebody's in your head saying that's stupid or you think of somebody else who created something similar and so then you tell yourself that's stupid or you tell yourself, well, I can't do that or I need to do it differently. And so it helps to get a lot of that mind garbage out of there and, and energetic garbage that's not yours. And um, then the other thing in here is that beautiful orange blossom. And we put orange blossom in the last kit. Oh, there's a beautiful bird feather that's like floating down behind the camera, big white bird feather. I don't know who that's for, but one of you watching this video need to know that there's a beautiful white bird feather. So squirrel, but we're back. See, creativity can make you do this, but it's about coming back around, right? So with this orange blossom, it helps to uplift and it helps to create a higher sense of well-being and vibration and inspiration. So when I'm writing, if I want to write very analytical and very in the box and I'm doing timelines and I want accuracy, I'll like smell some peppermint beforehand to get that clarity and that structure. But then if I want to make it juicy and flow and amp it up and, and get the delicious details and have something that emotionally moves people, I'm going to spray some orange blossom to like build that back up. So spraying this and taking a minute to have a breath will help to offer empty space for clarity. It helps to offer that openness and creation can just flow in because we're creating that circle. Okay. So that is our beautiful room spray. All right. Okay. So the next thing coming up in the box, we have our feather and it was funny. We, we tried figuring out how we could make a quill. <laughs> We couldn't figure out. So this is supposed to play um, because part of being creative is allowing yourself that sense of play. Now you can, I did try this on mine. I sprayed some of the room spray on here and it will absorb the essential oil. And so you can like smell the essential oils, but have some playfulness. Uh, we get so busy being structured that we don't allow ourselves to move forward and we don't allow ourselves to think outside the box or to be goofy and silly. And sometimes it's in those goofy and silly moments that you get your oh, epiphany because your brain is having a break. It's not thinking about the problem. It's just enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. And then the answer comes through or the solution comes through or the new idea comes through. And so this is supposed to create some sensory play. So I'll let you use your imagination. You can use it in your hair. I know now I'm just getting goofy, but that's okay. You be goofy with it. So this is 100% for fun, delicious, play. So have fun with that and feel free to let us know what you use, what you do to create play with your beautiful feather. Um, if you have a cat, you can play with your cat. <laughs> I'm like, I want to carry it around and play with it all the time. And it's funny because we unpack these and like my son was like, oh, and he's like this big, bigger than I am, 14 year old, you know, and he's like, oh, I want to play with it. And it, it's just, you can't hold it and not 
do something with it. So allowing your senses to play, allowing yourself to bring something new, a new experience to your life, or even a fun experience, um, or even attaching it to something else that makes those creative juices flow. So there's your sense of play. Got it? I know, really hard, really hard stuff, I know. <laughs> okay, so the next thing in here, this was one of the other, we must have these in the kit, is the citrine points. Now they all look a little bit different, um, but the the big thing, and I handpicked each of these crystals out. I was like, nope, can't be that. Nope, can't be that. Nope, can't be that. Because I wanted them to look a specific way. So the first thing is there is a point, you'll notice. And the points, when we use them in our crystal grips, grids, help to channel and it helps to align. It helps to create a direction. Because sometimes when we're very creative, we're here and we're here and we're here and we're here and we're here. And so this helps to offer that sense of focused creativity and clarity. Um, and also we wanted them to be small enough that you could hold them in your hand. So you can hold it in your hand while you're trying to think of an idea, um, while you're writing or having it on your desk, having it somewhere handy. And again, for 30 days, next month we'll be doing a different crystal. So enjoy it and embrace it as much as you can. Um, citrine I love because it helps heal that sacral chakra right here in your belly which amplifies creativity. So by having it around you and on you, it helps that chakra to heal any blocks or anything that might be stuck. If you're feeling like some anxiety when you go to try and create, um, especially, you know, in a work environment where you're getting paid to do it and you have to create and you have to be really brilliant right now, sometimes that's a lot of pressure. And so a lot of times I'll just roll it along that spot in my body where I'm feeling the block when I'm trying to be creative and it helps to remove it. Also, it's really neat because you'll notice that it has the dark amber color and then more of a yellow color and then the white. And that's because for me, citrine has always been a messenger of taking something murky that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, like almost like a puzzle and transmuting it into pure light. And so it's the idea of transmutation. It's a tool of purification, of moving something along, of having the, the muddledness and into clarity. Okay, so that's one thing that I love about the citrine. So it is one of the best crystals for creation. So of course we need the big old chunk in here. Okay, and then next you're gonna find your little crystals. So you have your clear quartz and clear quartz is also in the candle. Okay, so we just loaded it up. <laughs> Because with creativity, a lot of times, the thing we're missing the most is that sense of clarity. So we have all these clarity crystals. Yes, you can use them in your grid. And if you got the kits previously, you'll have some extras. Um, and you can absolutely add those to this grid as well. So clarity helps a lot um, when it comes to being creative. And we'll go in more detail when we do our grid. And then the other one that's in here is Tiger's Eye. Now Tiger's Eye, if you got the protection kit, it's also in there. So you get to add extra to your grid if you'd like. Tiger's eye helps us with our intuition and our clarity. It's also with the stomach as well. So it helps to heal that part of you. So if you have a problem that you're chewing on, you can carry this one with you um, or put on your grid and amplify that intention. So that is the beautiful tiger's eye is what that crystal is. All right, and it looks like we are at the end of our box here. I have one beautiful thing left. This is, was one of the first items I picked in here. Okay, it was the citrine and this. They're kind of equal. Um, so this is ammonite, and it's named from an ancient god. And it's made from those beautiful, oh, I guess I don't have to like show you, show you, because you have one. <laughs> so I'll just explain it as you look at yours. So it's made from a species very similar to a snail, and it has our spiral. And they take the shells and they cut them in half. So there's always a pair out there, which is really interesting. And I love that analogy. And, and I thought of trying to match the pairs and having everybody have two with their exact match, but then it was just impossible to even try and match those because <laughs> they come all together. And so the beautiful thing with this though, is that when you remember that it has another half somewhere, it helps us to remember how supported we are. When we create, we're not doing it alone. We're never creating anything alone and we're never creating anything that hasn't been thought of in some way before. And even these kits, there's lots of kits out there. So I'm very grateful that you chose and felt like our kit was the one that you needed for you because there are a lot of kits out there. There's a lot of weirdos that talk about crystals out there. There just are. And so allowing ourselves to go, I never have to do anything alone. 
And if I allow myself to be creative, there's always somebody to create and somebody to love that creation. It's a duality. It's a partnership. And so being open to partnerships as you look at this and, and what support is needed. You don't have to do everything alone. And remembering that. Also remembering that one of the things that make it easier to create is you have that ancient earth wisdom within you. So you have the ability to tune in to the ancestors, to tune into the earth ancestors. You don't have to know it all. You don't have to figure it out without having to reach out either. You can reach out, you can figure it out, you can tune into that higher sense of knowing, you can ask for new answers from your spirit guides and from your angels, or you can ask new answers, answers from somebody you know that's done it before or done something similar. There's this beautiful woman that makes pottery. I don't make pottery. I make drums and wood carvings and paintings. And so, but I can talk to her and learn what she's doing and how she's doing it and learn, oh, that's kind of what I do with my gifts. Oh, I would like to do something like that one day. Oh, this is how you do that. And so being able to inspire others is a huge part of creation, to create for the joy of creating and the joy of expanding out. Um, it's also known, Ammonites also known as being the Buffalo Stone, um, the Blackfoot tribe, which is in North America like Northern North America, Montana area. My mom actually lived on the reservation for a long time. So they had a trading post in a KFC. <laughs> so the Blackfoot, uh, they do call this the Buffalo stone. And the reason for that is because it's tied in with being a protector, protects against evil spirits. And the Buffalo, when you have a Buffalo drum, it ties in with remembering that everything you need is already provided for. And also to stubbornly get what you want. Like, the tribes would follow the buffalo because that was life. That was the providing of everything they need. The buffalo didn't go, oh, where are the people? We will go live by the people. No, the buffalo were like, well, what I need has moved. So I'm going to move and I'm gonna go and get what I want and what I need. And everything I need is going to be there. My job is to receive it and to look for it and to find it and to find a way to allow it to be in my life. And so allowing that sense of stability uh, also it's a protector of any type of dark magic is also well known in foreign countries. Like a lot of, uh, in Greece, that's usually what they use it for is it's a protector. So understanding that it's tuning into that ancient wisdom and that ancient protection. So anyways, okay. Um, oh, and I do want to say one more thing is that the spiral and the ammonite also align with that DNA. And when they do, they also remind us of structure. So if you look closely and you look at all those little, tiny pieces and crystallized minerals in there. Uh, each of those have a certain uh, structure to them. There's a sh certain way that the little cells connect with the other cells and all the magical fossilizing happens. Yeah, sciencey words, insert here. <laughs> but allowing that structure, allowing yourself to go, I can be creative, but it doesn't mean I have to be all over the place because that's where the warning comes in. Because sometimes if we're creative, we do feel like we're all over the place. And so it's about setting an intention. What do I desire to be creative with? What do I really, really want out of this? And so allowing yourself to have that is going to be so beneficial with this. And I do encourage you to take a moment now that you've unpacked your kit and everything's really excited, grab your journal. And while you're thinking about that structure and what you want to create, maybe making a list on the very first page or maybe the second. Okay. Here's the true about Holly. I don't like writing on the first page of my journals. Oh, and see, there's my wax papers in here still. See, it's good stuff. Um, I don't like writing on the first page because I want it to be pretty. So I'll write Holly Hope and I'll write my name and, and I'll put the start date. And then when I finish it, I'll put the end date. And then I write on the first page in the inside. So if you're weird like me, that's fine. But setting an intention like this journal is dedicated to letting all my creative powers unleash onto one little spot. Um, or maybe writing one intention. Like I would love in the next month, what is your intention? I would love to finally create that book I've been working on. I would love to finally create some balance in my life. I would love to finally create a system where my kids will do the dishes. Yes. I want to create that. <laughs> I did create a system with this kit. Isn't that so amazing? And my dishes are done every day. And I love it. Um, it's been bugging me for a lot of years. <laughs> it just took creating a creation kit and suddenly I was able to create anything I desired. So allowing yourself to tune into that, those things you desire, 
writing it down, just taking a brief moment to set that intention. And then you get to go check out the other videos. Thank you again for your support and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions on anything in the kit or if anything didn't travel well, please let us know because we want this to be the most happy, wonderful experience it could possibly be for you. Love you guys. Thank you again.